What are you doing with whole of state cyber? So one of the interesting things that we're doing is starting this July 1st, the legislature passed um, a new program, the Cybersecurity Review Board, and it is our first foray into whole of state cybersecurity. And it brings together these disparate partners into a, a group. So we're there representing state government. Um, the, the local governments are there. The cities, the counties, K-12 is there. The universities are there. So what we bring to the table is our enterprise cyber program dates back to 2017 in statute, right? And that statute was premised on probably a previous 10 years of work. So one of the things I'm excited about is this is the first time in a formal way that we're at the table across the state from a cyber perspective, right? Um, so we're able to bring our expertise to the table, and we hope that that expertise can help locals, that it can help some of the K-12 schools to have a much better conversation from a cyber perspective. One thing that I read in a recent NASIO report was that one of the benefits of whole of state cyber is the way that states are able to distribute grant funding, federal grant funding, yep. through the centralized service distribution yep. that yep. way. Was that a consideration for you yep. guys? Well, in this whole of state cyber group, the Department of Homeland Security is, a ch is the chair and ITS is the vice chair. And so all of those uh, cyber funds were kind of going to our Office of Homeland Security. So it puts all those people in a room to ensure that that program is um, not just fiscally sound, but that we're sort of taking those next steps. What might that be, right? Assessments, uh, mitigation, risk, making contracts available. And that's the first time that that's happened. I do think it was a bit of an impetus with those dollars to come around the table, but I'm pretty grateful for it. Whole of state cyber is definitely a trend in state yep. government. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's inevitable that states will go that way, or are there still advantages to not doing it that way? Oh, no, no, I think they will. Uh, and not only do I think they will on cyber, I think there's going to be a maturation across other areas. If you think about cloud, if you think about these other types of services, um, this actually came up uh, in a panel earlier today, whereby there's this view, uh, maybe instead of whole of state, it's sort of that tall, you know, tall pole in a tent, right? There's room in the tent for other folks to join. So in Mississippi, like a lot of states, locals can use our contracts, right, just as a vehicle. But I wonder if there's a place for a different set of relationships, right? Why? Because even in a small state like Mississippi, at scale matters if it's not a contract, but a service. So pricing, all those other things matter. You really are, uh, you know, getting access to these services, which are cloud-based or software as a service, right? You can do a lot more with that. So I think the whole of state is going to bleed in and through cyber into other areas of IT.